Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Are you looking to put a solid state drive into a budget or mid-range build? Do you want to get 256 gigabytes of solid state storage for under $50? Do you want to get 512 gigs of storage for under $90? You've come to the right place. I have two drives here to talk to you about, one new and one old. The Adlink S20 3D NAND TLC drive. Previously covered it, but the prices were different, so the analysis has changed. And then the new S50 MLC multi-level cell drive. It also is a similar price point, a little bit different in terms of their capabilities, who they're for, but they're both under $50 for the 256 gig uh, size that I have in front of me. I am going to be showing you benchmarks in this video compared to what many consider to be the flagship SATA drive on the market, the Samsung 860 Evo. Very quick. Yes, it is faster than these drives, but it costs more. It is 56% more expensive for the 256 gig version versus these drives. So it's a lot of extra money, $75 versus under 50. If you're building a premium top end machine, yeah, you should probably go with a premium top end drive. But if you're building a Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5 machine or an i3 or an i5, or perhaps upgrading an older computer, you have a Dell and HP and Acer, perhaps you have a mini tower pre-built or a laptop computer with a mechanical hard drive in it, these are a lot of value for the money and will absolutely blow away any hard drive that you replace them with in terms of performance. Boot time, Windows update time, program launch time, multitasking, task switching. Yeah, premium drives like this are faster. And again, if you're building Ryzen 7, i7, etc., go with a premium drive. But for most people, this is a lot of value for the money. Before we get to that, I want to talk to you briefly about Floatplane. Floatplane is the monthly subscription-only service hosted by Linus Media Group. For $3 per month, you get ad-free viewing, downloadable videos, early access videos. Many of these videos you're looking at right here are not yet on YouTube. They will be, but they're not yet. You get both of the Tech Deals channels, Tech Deals and Tech Deals Gaming, and exclusive videos. Visit the Microsoft Store, our visit to the Tesla Model X, that's my daughter sitting right there. Those are not main channel videos, but those will never be on YouTube. And then of course, a bunch of benchmarks and some other things that you otherwise would not see. Now, there are other content creators there. Each one is $3 a month and it directly supports the creators. So if you want ad-free access, if you want early access, downloadable videos, and if you wanna know that you're supporting tech deals, please consider signing up using the link down in the video description below. Inside these packages, you really don't get anything fancy. There's no drive migration software. There's no fancy cables or drive screws. It's just the drive. You get drive migration software when you buy a Samsung, but if you don't need that, it's just a drive. These are standard two and a half inch drives. They'll connect to most laptops and most desktops that have mounting for it's got screws on the side, screws on the back, nothing overly fancy. As I said, there's no drive screws or cables or anything in here. So if you need a mounting kit, you'll have to buy that separately. But for under $50, this is a lot of value. Now I'm gonna put two benchmark pages up here. One of these is for the S50 and one is for the S20. We'll get to the Samsung 860 Evo in a second. If you take a look at the top line results, that is the sequential transfer speed. That's file copy performance, essentially. Most SATA SSDs these days are in that range. This is very typical, it's good performance. There's no issues here whatsoever. In fact, frankly, for sequential copy performance, these drives are just as good, if not maybe a little better than the Samsung 860 Evo is, which actually is not the fastest sequential drive on the market. It's random performance where that drive excels at. Coming down to the second line, that's what I really want you to pay attention to. The S20, the TLC 3D NAND drive is actually faster in both reading and writing, single Q depth, single thread count, 4K random reads and writes. This is typical average user desktop workload. The bottom two lines of numbers look very impressive and the S50 excels there and does a better job but that's not what most people are going to experience. You'd have to have multiple programs running, multiple things reading and writing simultaneously. Uh, that's more typical of a server or multi-user environment or a heavy multitasker. If you had Origin, Steam, and Uplay all trying to update games all on the same drive at the same time, the S50 would do a better job of it. 
Simple solution, don't open all your clients and have them all update at the same time, because the S20 would be a bit slower in that case. Single game updating at a time? The S20 actually would be just fine, and for normal Windows boots, Windows updates, etc., I would pick it, especially considering that when I filmed this video, the S20 was actually a little bit less expensive than the S50. The truth is, these drives are fairly similar, and the average person is probably not going to notice a major difference between them. Now, linked down in the description below are going to be both of these drives, as well as the Samsung 860 Evo, because it is, frankly, in my opinion, the king of SATA drives. It just costs more. Now let's take a look at the performance of the S50 MLC drive versus the Samsung 860 Evo TLC drive. Now the sequential performance is what it is. Actually, the AdLink may be a touch faster. Samsung's sequential performance, at least on their uh, SATA drives, is frankly not their claim to fame. It's the random performance. Take a look at line two. Roughly 27 megabytes per second random read, Q depth of one, thread count of one on the S50 versus 47 megabytes per second on the Samsung 860 Evo. This is a difference that would be noticed. Not hugely so, and if you didn't have both drives, you probably would never know the difference. But yeah, that's actually a fairly hefty performance difference. If you're building a premium machine, if you're buying a, a, a four to $500 graphics card, if you're going with an i7 or Ryzen 7, honestly, I, I wouldn't buy the ad links. It's not enough drive for premium machines. That's why I mentioned Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5 or i3 or i5. If you're building something in the four to $800 price range, if, you're, if, if every dollar in your build counts and you're willing to compromise some performance to get a lot more space for the money, I think these AdLink drives are a good value. The minute your machine passes $1,000 in price, I think that value equation falls off really quickly and I really would consider buying something like a Samsung 860 Evo. A good example of this would be the fact that I wouldn't buy a 256 gig drive if you're building a $1,500 machine. It's, they're not big enough. But for a $600 machine, it's probably all you can squeeze into the budget. If you want to spend a bit more, you can get more performance, but let me offer you this thought. When I filmed this video, the Samsung 860 Evo 250 gig drive was $75. The 512 gigabyte AdLink S50 was just over $80. For the cost of a Subway sandwich more than the 250 gig version of the Samsung, you can get 512 gigs. It's more than double the space, and while it's not as fast, it is mind-blowingly faster than a hard drive. Most hard drives on that read test there will get in the one megabyte per second range or less. It's truly atrocious. So these AdLink drives, even though they're not as fast as a Samsung, they are 25 to 50 times faster than your typical hard drive at the same function. So they are mind-blowingly faster. That's really where these are, are, are set for. Budget to mid-range machines, replacing hard drives, 80-ish dollars for 512 gigs, that's a deal. One final point I'd like to make. While I only spent about two days messing around with this S50, I did review the S20 a number of months ago. When I did that, I actually showed you the 120, the 256, and the 512 gig version of that drive here on my desk in that video. Now, the prices were higher back then. Back then, the 256 gig version of this drive was $72. Now it's about 47, so prices have come down. The 512 gig version of this drive has actually been downstairs in my son's computer as a second SSD. It has a crucial BX200 480 gig drive and I put that in as a second. And that was added as part when we replaced his CPU from an i5 to an i7. Now I know I said i7 should probably have a better drive. The truth of the matter is, the AdLink S20 is faster than that Crucial BX200 is. It's not as fast as an MX500, but it's close. But it's faster than that BX200, and he has a bunch of games on it, and he's been using it for months. No problems, no slowdown, no issues. I've been very happy with it. So when it comes to AdLink, that was the first time that I'd really taken a look at these drives. It's the first time I've had extended use with the drive. So when I tell you that, yes, I would buy, uh, I would buy these drives for a budget system, Keep in mind that I have had one of these installed in a computer downstairs on my son's machine. I've had no problems with it. It's been completely trouble free. And more than any benchmark or any test that I can run, the fact that we've actually been using one for months 
and it has given us zero trouble, and it loads games quick, and it updates games quick. Yeah, I know this is faster, but unless you just have a lot of money, I think there's a lot of value here. I know this video is mostly about the S50 because it's the new drive they sent to me, but when you click those links down in the description below, as I said before, if the S20 is cheaper, don't be afraid to buy the S20. I think for most people, it's the better deal. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below and hit the bell notification icon next to it if you'd like to be notified of my videos because without that bell button being clicked, YouTube actually doesn't notify you of most of my videos. The comment section down below, please let me know what you think of this video and then the links in the video description. In addition to the links to Amazon and Newegg for these drives, you'll find the Tech Deals Discord, which we have a great community of over a thousand active members. We have a tech help section, we have a buy in for sale section, a deals page and a bunch of other stuff. Go check that out. And you'll also find my Twitter and Twitch links down there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.